Hi. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> I thought I would surprise you for once. Uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> I, um, I did say last time that I was upset with myself for not sharing when things were best right. <laughs> Saying it and revealing it are not the same though. <laughs> so this is like a normal day. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit chaotic in here. Yeah, so one of the things that I plan to do, uh, hi baby. I was uh, gonna share with you guys some of my uh, tips for updating your bathroom. Quick, easy, take just a couple minutes, budget friendly, all that good stuff. And you too, Louie, you too, Louie. Yes, and uh, yeah, so I actually need to clean up my bathroom. So, uh, are you really, you want, I, I was standing here trying to decide what I was gonna wear today. What are you doing, well, Yeah, doing? why don't we just kind of show them what you actually do. Okay, so we'll do it this way. We'll do it Jack's way we'll this time. It. We'll try it Jack's way. You guys let us know. Hit subscribe if you're like, who's this crazy lady wearing her jammies? Yeah, hopefully you'll like this video in a different format than what I'm comfortable with. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll leave the links for the jammies down below. Let me fix my hair and... Uh, yeah, you guys, I guess you guys get to see I do actually wear my Lily Silk uh, scrunchies. Oh, you are obsessed with those things. That, you know why? Because it's better for your hair. It doesn't rip my hair and out. you have them everywhere. I do. So Every that'll be drawer. one of the tips. That'll be one of the tips. See, I'm going to put it away. <laughs> going to put it in my little box where I keep my scrunchies. So. All right, let me, make my, let me make myself presentable and then I'll meet you guys back here in just a second. All right. Well, you just keep showing up. I know. Look at you now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit uh, more presentable. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more like myself. Guys, if you guys are looking for the most amazing, has the best hold, but you can still run your fingers through it, texturizing spray, this is it. Is it's that the same people make my mousse? It is. And I That's use, the I use their... Product. I use the thickening spray and I use the and the um, heat protector. So I am a fan. What's the name of it? Arnco. I'll have it linked down below. Okay. It's amazing. So I am. I need to get this thing cleaned up before you guys see it anymore. Uh, one of the things I always have sitting out is my water cup. You gotta drink your water. It's good for your skin. Let me take that out of here for a second. So. One of the things that I do is that I've got right now a bunch of stuff sitting out that I don't use all the time. So I will use these while I'm getting ready, but I don't leave this stuff sitting out. So I would say one of the biggest things that I do when I'm wanting to really kind of upgrade and kind of zhuzh my space or if I'm going to a client's home, one of the very first things that I do is that I put away unnecessary things. So this is something that I just put away in my closet, my... Uh, my electric toothbrush has been charging all night. I didn't know this. They actually get a lot of charge. This only has to be charged like once a week. I also don't leave my curling iron sitting out. And I know that I use this every single day, but I think it's okay for us to have these little rituals of taking things in and out of the drawer. The other thing I do is that I decant. I love to decant. I've got these gorgeous jars. You can leave these out. I took the lids off because they the drawer doesn't close with the lids on and I've got them kind of tucked away in one of my little storage boxes. But you could have them sitting out on the counter. But sometimes I just don't want to look at them. And I kind of change up my decor a lot. But I would say that one of the easiest things that you can do is to take things out of the packaging. So I've got these little uh, face, you know, the little cotton pad things and I'm just going to stick them down in the drawer, into the thing here. So then the other thing that I like to do is like Q-tips are another one of those things that I like to have in the bathroom. And of course, I like to just refill my little jars. The other thing that I like to do is I like to have a really nice soap pump. You guys have probably heard me say this, but I think it's really important and it's an easy upgrade. It just takes seconds. Grab them while you're out. This is actually, you can order off of Amazon. I love this French soap. It's amazing. And then once you have it, 
it's glass it's beautiful and you can actually just refill it with whatever soap you want to i have like my rings sitting here and i like to have just a little spot to kind of corral things i think you can be a little bit more practical about things and then when it gets full like this what i'll do is i'll take a whole bunch of that off and then i'll kind of give myself a fresh start the other thing that i like to do is that I like to do some fresh linens. I got this one recently. This one's from Brooklinen actually, and they make really great little mats. I like to have it just kind of put over the tub or a pretty towel. That's where you can see what's going on kind of over here, the mess that I've got going on. I've got some, I've upgraded my towels recently and it made a really big difference. I bought a really pretty set from uh, Restoration Hardware and I really, or from RH as they call themselves now. I've got some clothes I need to put away, uh, but I really liked their, their towels. I thought that they were really, really pretty. But I will say that I also have a little stash of towels from Mango and from H&M Home because I really like these as well. And so what I'll do is I'll just put out a nice little towel just sitting out and then I'll fold these and tuck these away. And we worked really hard to be able to renovate our bathroom. And so I love the fact that now, six years later, we're still really enjoying this space. It's fun to be able to do these little upgrades, but we also think a lot about the fact that this is something that we want to protect as well. And of course, you guys know I work in real estate and design, so something that comes up pretty often for in my work is life insurance. Our video sponsor for today is Ethos, and I wanted to partner with them because this is something that we actually talk about all the time in our real life and with our clients because it's something that we really value. Putting all this money into our home and building a life for ourselves and for our kids is something that's really important to us. And we know that things can happen in a minute. When I was 13, my dad, oh my gosh, um, <laughs> see if I can get through this quickly without crying. I came home from school one day when I was 13 and my mom and dad were supposed to be home that day and nobody was home. It was a little bit odd. I let myself into the house and I was standing there in the kitchen and the phone rang and it was my mom and she was in the ER and dad had been in a car accident and we didn't, she didn't know if he was going to even make it. And they had told her even if he did, he probably would never walk again. And um, it was just one of those moments uh, that just really stayed with me. Um, she's like, it's okay, honey, we're gonna be okay. You know, dad, we have life insurance, like we're gonna be fine. Cause I, you know, I, get, I don't know. But for her it was something how she was mentally processing. Like she was processing with me that we were gonna be okay. Thankfully, I still have my dad with me today, but it definitely taught me a very valuable lesson. And so even when Jack and I got married, it was always something that we always, for us, it was something that was really important to us to always have life insurance taken care of. I like to eat those because a term policy can be customized to your coverage through your peak earning years. Uh, traditionally, life insurance has been kind of confusing. I felt like it was. It's expensive. It's kind of time consuming. Ethos, on the other hand, focuses on creating a, a seamless customer experience with a 100% online application process. They've eliminated medical exams and blood tests. The Ethos able to cover people in minutes instead of weeks. You just answer a few health questions online. We loved the fact that it was fast, easy, and affordable. So this is something that was really important to us. So um, thank you again to Ethos for being our video sponsor. Make sure you check down below for all the details. Okay, so let's chat about actually upgrading the space momentarily because we've really just been kind of tidying up the space. In fact, it, it's kind of driving me crazy that I haven't cleaned this up just yet. I mean, <laughs> these are pajamas from two days ago. I've got uh, the, veranda, the latest issue of uh, Veranda Magazine. Uh, I got some new in shoes from Saks. I have a couple things I'm going to go through, um, but I'm going to set them to the side for just a minute. So if you want to see what I've gotten from Spanx, Make sure you check out my fashion channel because that's where we're gonna be chatting about spanks and coats. Oh yeah, a little <laughs> preview of what's coming. This is the rack of what's coming. Yes, that's so pretty. Yes. Okay, so it's kind of looking lonely in here at the moment. So easy ways to upgrade that I upgraded the space when I first did the space was that I put up some really pretty artwork. I think we forget to put artwork in our bathrooms, but it's such an easy upgrade to make. I love these little prints that are just from Target. I think they're sold out now, but West Elm has something really similar. I still haven't put new art in it. You know what it is, is that I like it. 
And it's fun to like... You know what it is? It looks like our pictures that we took in Switzerland. It does. We literally were driving in the clouds and it, I have pictures like this of my own that we took there and I think that's why I left that. So we're gonna definitely leave those because they make me happy. Jack, also show them the DIY artwork that I did over here. This is literally one of my favorite pieces, if not my favorite piece you've ever done. Oh, really? I love this thing. I literally got this piece at Home Goods, put a coat of black on it, just with brush, like a you know, a paintbrush, just that you would use on your wall. And then after that dried, I just came back with another sample, because you guys know I do I have samples galore from all the different companies. And I literally just poured it on here and then just sort of spread it out. That's it. That's really all I did. <laughs> and yeah. I, I... I don't think it's going to go in a museum, but I do like it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I do. Now, this is kind of looking lonely because I stole a bunch of stuff off of this area. And I think I'm going to bring in a tray. Let me get the tray okay. that I was thinking of. I think that a tray is such a nice way to really upgrade the space. Uh, this is just an inexpensive one actually off of Amazon. You know where I was looking? They had something like this also on uh, H&M Home. Oh, are you serious? So the little marble box, H&M Home, H&M Home, they've got great linens. Huh. It's really, it's actually one of my favorite places to shop for really affordable stuff. But I think right now, if everything's just kind of sitting on the counter, it just kind of looks a little bit lonely. And so, immediately putting a tray down just sort of corrals things. If you don't have fragrance in your space, you need a fragrance to really kind of upgrade your space and make it really smell good. Yeah. This is Night Sook. Jack, oh my God. Jack treated me because it's my birthday this week. So I've got my favorite, favorite candle uh, from the Medellin. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Uh, but yeah, it smells really good in here right now. Well, and we use this like if you want to know part of the ritual is at night before she yes. comes in here to get ready, we pre-light this to where when she comes in to get ready. And I'm saving this because I want to be able to actually move the storage over here. But nice. I need one more for the little cotton swab. So uh, I save the containers and we use them. Yeah, I and love that. we light the candle in here, and I love to take long baths and. I do that at night. Usually I wash my hair at night um, because my hair takes a long time to dry. It's kind of your decompressed time at night. It is. Too, so. It is. It makes you feel really good in your space and it's just an easy upgrade that I think you can make. Yeah. Uh, you actually did a roundup. I showed that on my LTK. Oh, yeah, 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 you right. did a roundup of candles. So there's a bunch that we have that are super affordable. This is the more... Nice stick is more of the, the a splurge. Yeah, it's a splurge. A treat. But you know what it's missing in here? I know what it's missing. What do you think it's missing? I would say it's missing flowers. Or Why would you think that since you maybe went out and bought me flowers for my I went birthday? And you flowers for your birthday. I know. Let me go find the base. <laughs> Did he do good or what? Isn't that just gorgeous? Gorgeous. I love it. I'm just going to slide it down on here and kind of juice things just a little. Let me put this in the front and these guys in the back. And did you just go to Home Goods? Um, I went to Whole Foods. You just went to. Hold on, let me go. Okay, did you just go to Whole Foods for these? I literally just went to Whole Foods this they morning. They look gorgeous. You know, I see the local grocery stores, they, they'll have them too, like oh, at yeah. Publix and we stuff. Buy them all the time. Yeah, it's nice when they're white because it just looks nice and clean and neat. And I just feel like. Does the space not feel instantaneously you know upgraded? What you did is it feels like a luxury hotel because yeah. hotels will always have, well, not always, but you can get them with flowers, but they always have stuff corralled. Yeah. Like they'll have like their treats and their little amenities and stuff. So I, you made yeah. it feel luxurious like that. I think so. So I've tucked away kind of the ugly stuff. I've displayed some of the really pretty stuff. Um, I just think that this is just easy ways to upgrade your space. I love this. I think we just forget. I forget. I work in so many big, I think so big so often, you know, we're tearing down walls, we're oh, measuring out the showers, new surfaces. and yet these are just the simplest things that you can do that can just upgrade your space. Yeah. yeah. And I, I gotta be honest, I've been married to you for 23 years. I've never actually watched you do what you just did. Oh, really? No, I just get to benefit from it. But actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm realizing I don't actually know what you do Like, yeah. when it comes to this. It's just simple stuff. And I, I think love it's that. just really fun. So it is Friday, yes. and which means we have some weekend tasks. Yes, I always love this part of the video. Know, Does too. anybody else love this part? I'm because like, we actually do these things. I know. It actually really helps me. We sign them to ourselves and we're like, let's go do it. Yes. So one of the things I'm going to be doing this weekend is I'm actually going 
to the the dresser the new dresser is going to arrive Yay. um did you show them this i mean this is literally disasters yeah this is i, okay. I can't believe that i know this is driving you crazy it is and i just realized i hit the pan on one of my favorite little oh, no. bits of makeup that's like a an influencer term it's when you hit pan it's when you see the bottom <laughs> i have no idea what that term meant <laughs> I know. Can I use that for all kinds of things? Yeah, you can. I hate the pan, I'm out of coffee. <laughs> so buried underneath here, if you look, you'll see I've got these beautiful oh my God. little clear. What a treasure trove. Yeah, I mean this is all in my <sighs> makes me so happy. But I all have fun initials. I know. I know. Got the T F and the double C's and the C D and initial. That's a quote. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I've really run out of space the way that I've been doing this because, yeah, um, yeah I, I just, I'm going to upgrade this. So my suggestion is, I'll, I'll leave you a link for some clear storage like these. These are from Ikea. Oh, These wow. are from Ikea, but I'm, I'm going to also look for some from Amazon. I think the kids just got here. But yeah, like I have lipsticks that are thrown back here and so they're not making yeah, it in. Fixed, so obviously. I'm going to be working on this. I'm going to be ordering stuff for this. So stay tuned, you guys. I think film, I, I think grabbing some organizational items is really key. I think also grab some, a soap pump. Oh, I mean, if you don't have a gorgeous soap pump at every single sink, these are actually really affordable. And I think because they're made of glass, they are a little bit more, but then you keep them forever. Yeah. And, and I think that they're just beautiful. And there's something about having French soap. I, Jack's signaling at me. I've got messy hair. <laughs> he looks very, He's like this. He looks very French. <laughs> but I think also, I almost went, whoop! <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm like, well, that's not where I it, it. Because it's be. going in. If you don't hit it just right, you're going to fall over. Uh, but I also think that having some beautiful fresh flowers, these yes. are just from the grocery store. They don't have to be expensive. You guys know we clip a lot off of like the bushes and the little extra growth and stuff. And sometimes we have big branches, but I think sometimes a grocery store is such a good source. I'll also leave a faux option for you guys. If you don't have a grocery store that stocks great flowers, I wish that more American companies would realize that people want this. I know. So, yeah. Um, but I think if you just grab a beautiful vase, fill it up with flowers, you, you guys probably have candles. I mean, you can check out our list, and of course, I'll leave you my favorite. But I think, uh, yeah, just light your candle, put some flowers in, get your soap pumps out, maybe corral your things. You probably already have a tray or something that you can use. But I'll leave a link for those as well. I think just grab, you know, some fresh towels. I've been using that laundress. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I walk in the I walk in the laundry room and yeah. the laundry room smells good it now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's I'm gonna leave you guys amazing. a link. If you're not washing with that laundress stuff, you need to just give it a try. It that's just smells epic. so good. Yeah. And so it's not just having a beautiful towel out, it's that it smells good and yeah, I just love it. So, and then of course I'm gonna be taking some me time. I'm gonna go bake my coffee. <laughs> and I have a new safari style book. Ooh, yes you Should do. I grab it? Hang on, give me yeah, a second, I'll okay. grab it. Look at this book. Could you not just die over it? That's beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. When I opened this, I personally was instantaneously transported back to when I was 16. I went on an African safari, literally went out into the African bush and stayed in a hut. Like I, that was my dream. I wanted to move to Africa. I wanted to be an interior designer, a fashion buyer, and I wanted to live in Africa. And my parents were just like, uh, no idea what to do with this kid. <laughs> it's a very strange combination, but you've done. <laughs> I've done all the things all I wanted to do. Now. I know, I know. I feel like it's a little bit of being a fashion buyer now that I have my own fashion channel. Um, but and you I want just- to marry a hottie, which yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did. I did. <laughs> well, this book, I know that not everybody wants to run oh. off to Africa, but, but this um, is so much fun. then when we got to actually live there, and oh yeah, my gosh, look at that. I know it's amazing. So I want to sit oh, because I haven't looked at that either. I, I haven't had a that. chance to look through this yet. So I'm so excited about grabbing my coffee and reading this one. And uh, we have a stack of cookbooks out. We're pre-planning Thanksgiving and the holidays. We're pre-planning uh, a whole bunch of like 
coziness for the holidays. So make sure you hit subscribe and stay tuned because we have some really fun stuff coming. When the holidays come every year, I feel like I have a personality like change, yeah, like next level. Like it just goes into like cozy next level. Like I'm just a totally different person. I feel like the holidays. Yeah, we both do. We're both like yeah, like yeah. every day. The oh, it's yeah. gonna be so much. So fun. I got all my Nordic cookbooks out, and yes. I'm already pre-planning like what for the holidays. I've got and sweaters stuff. pulled. I'm I like, know. I just want to wear these. But I do also have some really fun stuff over on my Instagram. If you guys haven't checked it out, I've got stuff for. Halloween if you want some last-minute ideas and stuff that you can have you probably have this stuff around your house to do those ideas So definitely check us out on Instagram, but yeah, make sure you're a subscriber here And uh, we're gonna go grab coffee and go read our safari style and get started on our weekend So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend or a wonderful day And I'm gonna leave you with a couple video recommendations that I think you guys should definitely check out Totally binge worthy for the weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye it's like, you fall over okay. again. <laughs> Bye. That was her final video. Uh, catches her hair on fire <laughs> and dies. <laughs> I haven't filmed my like final deaths, like death my scene, words like... of uh, departure. So Should I die? Release this video. I can't, I can't die yet. I haven't filmed that one. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. I was going to blow that out, but now we're going to leave it going. Okay. What are you doing? I'm going to read my book. You do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs>